Hey guys, welcome to my channel. Thank you so much for clicking on this video. Today I'm going to show you what is on my iPhone X and this is a highly requested video. I did one of these last year and since then I've had a lot of questions and I've uh, been asked to do it again, do an update. So that's what I'm going to do for you today. If you like this video, be sure to leave me a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, it really helps out my channel. And make sure to hit that bell notification so that you get a notification every time I post a new video. And let's get right into it. The first thing I wanted to share is a picture of my husband and I and there's a random person on the top of the screen. Um, this was at a comedy show and I just really like this picture so that's what I have as my screen. And then when you open it, I have everything like I did before all on one screen. I have the one side here where it has all of the things that I can look at really quickly. My calendar, my activity, the weather, and then I have different suggested apps on the bottom. Um, along with the battery life of my stuff. Everything is dying right now so that's why I'm trying to go pretty fast. As you can see here I have 26% on my iPhone and 37% on my Apple Watch and I am going to go work out after this so I have to actually charge my Apple Watch and charge my phone before I go work out. But I wanted to do this video because you guys have been requesting it and I want to get it out for you guys. By the way, this is Luna right here. This is my little, my dog. She was just sitting up here a second ago and just jumped off. So the very first folder that I have on the top of the, of the left side is my social media. So I have Pinterest, YouTube, Snapchat. I actually have not been using Snapchat very much. I've just been kind of putting everything on Instagram stories. Um, and I haven't really been as active on there as I would like to be, so I'm trying to be better about that. I have here Twitter, which I hardly ever use. Also, I'm working on it, guys. I really am. I have Instagram. So I've been using Instagram a little bit more. Uh, YouTube Studio. This is a um, way for me to check when I get messages and stuff like that from you guys. I can answer quickly through there. I could check my analytics through there. So it's for creators um, and I've used that for a while. I really like it because it lets me see on my phone without having to actually log into my laptop and like go through the whole YouTube um, thing. I have Facebook, my Bitmoji there. Um, because I feel like it just makes sense there. I also have Messenger and then I have Facebook Creator so this is to make posts and stuff on on Facebook and that is the social media app right next to it um, because it just kind of I feel like it just flows correctly like if I'm going to do photography stuff and then I have the social media right next to it so I have my photography folder and I have all my photos here the very first one and then I have my camera the TV thing here, which I don't have any movies in there or anything like that. I have FaceTime because it's something where my face is showing. I feel like that fits into photography. I have iMovie, which I do use when I'm going to post like a quick little like workout or um, something on my Instagram. So that's what I use for that. I have Layout, which is really cool and because that puts multiple pictures on one picture and it's um, a great way to just kind of edit the pictures. Um, that's really the only thing I use to edit pictures besides Canva, and Canva is what I use for my thumbnails and also if I want to put a post on Instagram, I tend to use this. So I actually just posted something similar to the one you just saw on there. And also, um, if you go here, it goes to my designs and I have all of the stuff and all of the thumbnails and things that I've created for my channel and for my social media. So that's what Canva is, I really enjoy that. And then I have Clips, which I have not really used and I'm probably going to delete it, but I haven't yet because it came with the iPhone and I just wanted to see what it was all about. Next to that, I have my reference folder and I have the weather app. I have multiple weather apps here because I like to look at weather and I just, I enjoy to see like the variances between the different weather apps, specifics of like humidity and stuff like that. I don't know, I just like to, it's just interesting to me to see that type of stuff in different forms. So I have the weather app that comes with the iPhone and then I have the AccuWeather which is supposed to be like the most accurate weather. It's an app and I also use that on my iPhone. And then I have my weather. I'm sorry, I mean on my Apple Watch. And then I have my weather which I also use on my Apple Watch um, because I like the pictures of that one a lot better on the Apple Watch. But that one is really cool too on the phone. And then I have two map um, apps. I have the maps for the iPhone that comes with it and then I have the Google Maps and I really actually use both because there's just sometimes I want to save a location and it's easier for me to save it on Google Maps and I can have multiple things running at the same time. I have Foursquare which is an app where you can see and look for places around you that are popular and like things you may want to try at a new restaurant. I have Yelp which is of course kind of the same idea. Um, really cool 
it always like it gives me notifications and stuff of like a new restaurant close by or whatever so I really enjoy Yelp it's it's great and I like to read the reviews if I'm gonna try a new nail salon or something like that so right next to that I have my finance folder and here I have my wallet which I do use Apple Pay uh, because I like to use my Apple watch uh, whenever I can I have books here and then I just have a couple of things in the books. I have just like some workouts and some PDFs and stuff that I've saved um, throughout the time that I've had this phone. I have my my account, which is Chase. I have um, an account there. I have my point of sale for my Square. Um, when I have a class or when I have personal training, private personal training, I can use a Square to to get a payment from somebody. And then I have AdSense, which is the way that I monitor my payments from YouTube so that's how that works and then right underneath that I have the health app so I have a whole bunch of stuff on here I have of course the native iPhone um, health app that comes with it I have evolve which is a food tracking app and you know you can check your macros and that type of stuff I have an interval timer which is really awesome to use I just recently bought a small little portable interval timer Kind of like a gym boss but a little bit different if you know what a gym boss is but i will be sharing that soon actually in a haul that i have coming up so stay tuned for that um so but the interval timer is really awesome to have on my phone sometimes if i have a client and we're going to do um, an interval session it's really easy just to pull that up i do like the idea of have not having to have my phone necessarily when i am with a client so that's why i have the portable one and then i have the activity app here of course, I have all the rings, which is kind of like the activity app, but it goes with it. It gives you a little bit more information of the workout that you, you just completed. And then I work for Anytime Fitness, so I have the Anytime Fitness app and I have the Anytime Fitness workouts. So those are what is available to some of the clients. And I can also assign a workout um, like this when I am unavailable or, or whatever, and they can actually see what there is. So I have this tracking app. Um, this one is from Nutrition IX Track. So this is like another tracking for macros and stuff. I really like this one. This one is actually very, very good. Um, of course, I have my Fitness Pal, which I've used. And then I have the Sleep Plus Plus. I'm not actually sleeping with my, my Apple Watch right now. I used to sleep with my other Apple Watch, but because this is um, the stainless steel gold version and it's a little bit more pricey i decided that i don't really need to sleep with it if i do happen to fall asleep with it then i will check my my app and it's kind of nice to see like if i had a deep sleep or if i what stage i was and all of those type of things i have kilio i'm not sure if i pronounced that correctly but this is a workout app and they have the paid version and the free version um, it's actually pretty cool. It's like quick workouts. You go to workouts here on the bottom and then you have like like a whole bunch of workouts. Like I did this one not too long ago where it's like 40, 30, 20, 10 reps of each exercise and you just do air squats, sit-ups, um, 10 hand release push-ups. So you do 40 reps, 30 reps, 20, 10, and then you're done with the workout. So that's that's a really awesome quick little workout sometimes when I don't want to have to think about my plan or what I'm going to be doing I just like to pick one of these go into the gym execute and leave and then be done it's fun to do that of course I love to create a plan and and the whole programming that's a lot of fun for me that's that's what I love to do also but it is nice to sometimes not have to think about what you should do for the day I also have calorie mama which is a calorie um, counter or like a calorie identifier so if you have something that you don't know how, how many calories is in it um, and what are the macros for it and it has a barcode then you can scan it um, or you can look it up and it will tell you all of that information so it's pretty cool it's kind of convenient so it's not necessarily like tracking what I'm eating during the entire day but it's just like looking up something instead of having to google how much is how many calories does an apple have and what are the macros you know that type of thing then i have my email i have here just the mail that comes with the iphone and then i have my gmail i know that i have a lot of emails but i have within the gmail i have three different emails in there so technically that's not that much i've seen that number in the thousands actually but i do get a lot of emails especially from people that want me to check things on um youtube people that i don't even know so like i need to 
needed to create a completely different email for that so that I can have those just filtered to that email. So that's why I have so many. Then I have the shopping folder and this one is like one that I love to use because I love to shop it's just you know who I am. So I have here the Amazon app and then I have the Best Buy which is my favorite because I'm like very into tech stuff. And I have Groupon, I have Starbucks, Crazy Coupon Lady. This one is really interesting. I'm looking for, um, I don't know, black tights or something. And then it'll tell you what store has the black tights. And if the store that you're in has the cheapest black tights, if they don't, um, it'll tell you which stores will match a, um, the price of a coupon that's available for black tights black tights so it's pretty cool definitely check it out if you have not the target app here um, so I have like the cartwheel savings where I can scan everything when I am at target and I can check to see if there's any coupons available and then it'll just put it onto the app and then I scan a barcode from the app so I go to target all the time actually every week so then I have lululemon and I have cinemark so this is for movies um, and you can have like the cinema mode which is where you turn it on and you pretty much say that you are at the movies and it gives you points and every time you purchase um, movie tickets or you get points then you get free stuff like a drink or popcorn or whatever um, so that's pretty cool I have Sam's Club then I have Baskin Robbins for my birthday coupon every year they give you a free ice cream on your birthday and it's also nice if you feel like having some type of treat you can always check the app and they always have some type of deal I have Grubhub, DoorDash uh, and Uber Eats are here because when I was working at my last job, we used to use this all the time and just switch back and forth whoever ordered the food. Um, I also have Quick Trip and 7-Eleven if I need to make a quick stop. Um, there's always coupons on there. You can always save some good money. I have Safeway, which is where we usually shop, but I do go in multiple places. I have Geek, which is the electronic type of version of Wish. So it has everything that Wish has. And, and Geek all together. So it's like both of them together. And I absolutely love Geek. The interval timer that I was just talking about earlier is actually from Geek. So I'm excited to share. I'm going to have a Geek slash Wish haul. So I'm excited for that. I'm just waiting for everything to get here because a lot of stuff comes from China because you don't pay a lot for most things. Um, so everything is really discounted, but it just takes forever to get here. So we're waiting on, I'm waiting on that. Okay, I also have Nordstrom Rack, one of my favorite stores, Nordstrom Express, Nasty Girl. This is from the um, girl boss from Sofia Amoruso. This is her, her app and it has like all of the clothing stuff that she was very, became very famous for. I have Kohl's, Albertsons, another Safeway. This is a different version. It has like um, some stuff in stores but also some recipes so it's pretty cool. And then I have Little Caesars and I have Vestier, I don't even know how to say this, Vestier, but, and this is like a high-end store where you can get um, brands like Louis Vuitton and Prada and stuff like that. Okay, so then the next thing I have is music. So I have podcasts here that comes with it. I have iTunes store, music of course that comes with it, um, but I also have Pandora which I haven't really been using very much because now I'm using Spotify. I have Spotify here um, uh, and I have Shazam if I need to figure out what song is playing and I don't know what it is I can just press the Shazam and it'll tell me what the the song is. I also have audiobooks which is an app that I found for the the Apple Watch that has different classic audiobooks in them so I haven't actually listened to any yet but I want to review this app and see if I like it so um, that should be cool. For the extras, I just have a whole bunch of random stuff in here. I have the compass, the little tips tab, I have voice memos, which I have used before if I have like an idea and I'm driving and I can't text it or or write it into my notes, then I will put it there. I have my contacts, home, and find my iPhone. So that's what I have in there. Then I have utilities, so I have the measure, uh, measure thing. I have my calendar, which I use pretty much daily. Um, because that's where I put everybody in. In fact, I will show you that I have all the calendars and I love the calendar app. I have not yet found one that's as good. I've heard that the Google calendar is really good, but I really like this one. And as you can see here, I have all of the different um, calendars color-coded and it just makes my day a lot easier and I really enjoy it. So then I have clock, 
I have a whole bunch of alarm clocks that I put on at different times because I have to be in different places at different times and I put them on throughout the day not only to wake up just to give, remind myself of things. I have my notes, I'll put stuff there for YouTube and whatever, I have calculator, app store settings, reminders if I need to write anything, CalcBot, I have my Apple Watch, the Habit Minder which is a an app that helps you form habits. Um, so like if you want to drink more water, you can put that you want to drink more water and it will notify you that you it's time for you to drink water for that day. Um, and then I have Calculator Plus, which is kind of like the regular calculator, but it has a couple of more more things on it. And then I have the stick emoji uh, stickers. These are cool. So this is just this just shows me how to install it, which I already have. I have it installed, but I think I need to keep this in order to be able to message with it. So this is what they look like. They're pretty cool. They're animated. Some of them are not, but most of them are, and they're pretty pretty fun. So I have that. The next one is the education folder. So I have a couple game type stuff that helps with memory and all of that because if you don't use it, you lose it. <laughs> so I have Elevate. Um, which is just like games. I have four letters. There's a game where you have to create words with just four letters and you just go faster and faster. I actually featured that on one of my must-have Apple Watch apps, so I play that on my Apple Watch. I have Trivia Crack, which is just like trivia questions, um, and you just go through different subjects like science and history and all of that. I have the dictionary in case I need to figure out a question or find um, a synonym for a word. Then I have Memorando, which is another game type um, education practicing brain app. So I have that, and then I have Peak, which is the same thing. And then I have iTunes University, which is an app where you can search for different um, things like videos and stuff um, on certain specific subjects. So I have that. Then the next folder is Productivity. I'm not sure why this is named Productivity. I probably should rename this because this is just my Microsoft Office apps. I have PowerPoint, Excel, and Word um, in case I have a document that I need to open um, and edit on there. Next one, it just says Folder. Um, this is Pages here. This is where I keep a lot of my clients' um, programs. I will write a program for each client and then I have that there. I have Keynotes which comes with it. Uh, files, numbers. Numbers is what I use to do my budget um, and make sure that everything that I need to pay has is paid. So technically it's where I do my budget and how I check to see the projections of how much I'm going to make and all of that. Then I have Dropbox. I have my news app next which has Pocket. Pocket is really cool. It's an app where if I find a really cool interesting news article and I want to save it, send to Pocket and then it will save it for later. Then all the articles that I want to read are in one place so that's really awesome. I have the news app um, and that's just, you know, comes with it. So then I have a couple of things that are not in folders. So I have Club Ready which is um, for the gym um, as a personal trainer. I have um, my schedule on the system that we use at the gym. Then I have five stars, which I'm not really sure what it is. Um, and I don't even think I've used this before. I'm not really sure. Yeah, so it's like it's asking me for my number, so I'm not really sure what that is. Maybe I was just trying to check it out and thought it was interesting or saw it somewhere. And I tend to do that. Like if I see something and they're like, check out our app, I I will like check to see if it's something interesting and then if I do think that it will be I'll download it and then I'll look at it later that kind of a thing so then I have Watchwise which is an app that I reviewed on my videos actually and it's a way to make um, the screen for your Apple Watch and then I have Nano which I actually do not know what this one is either next I have games and these are games that are not really for education or like advancement in your brain potential um, so I have Wordy, which is really cool, um, Rebus Zone, I have Bubblegum Hero, I've shown Wordy and Bubblegum Hero, and Night Sky also in like different apps, and Flash Tap, so those are all really cool. I have Word Search, and then I have Letterpad. I tend to just use the ones that are like Word Search, I like that, and like Letterpad, but I don't really use or play games very much, just if I'm like really bored. Um, and usually if I'm going to play a game, it's going to be on my watch. That's that. I have Resident Portal. This is where I pay my, my, um, rent 
for my apartment every month and then I have a Yumly which is where I get recipes along with Pinterest. I also look for a lot of recipes there but Yumly is really cool. I actually featured that in a different video. I will make sure to put that up on the cards because it's actually a, a lot of awesome apps are on that video. Then I have my productivity folder. So this is a really cool one because this is like my to-do lists, my organization tools, all of that type of stuff. So I have do, which is pretty cool. The one that I use the most, and I'll be honest with you, I haven't used um, hours very much at all, but I use any point do or any period do. Five notifications on here because what you do is you go in and you say, um, the things I need to do today. So today I have, I have Walmart list and if I click on Walmart, I can click on Walmart and I can scroll down. There's a whole bunch of things that I can say like set for tomorrow, share the task, make sure that it's a work task or a personal task, whatever. And then I could do a notes on it. So I needed face wipes. I want to get a different phone case and then I needed, I need to get pajamas. So those are the things that I wanted to get or need to get from Walmart and I have that on the list today and then I have the workout, I have to go to Target, I have to do my meal planning, I have to film what's on my iPhone which I'm doing right now so as soon as I'm done with this I can go ahead and check that off. I need to create my to my list for tomorrow. This workout should not be on here and then I also needed to film my my diet challenge video. Um, so that's the, the update that will be coming out um, I think Saturday for you guys so that you guys can see for the holiday challenge and if you have not seen that video then check that one out in the cards we're doing a holiday challenge until Christmas or before an event and it's pretty good um, I've seen a couple results so far so I'm excited to share that with you guys so make sure to check that video out so I, that's the one that I use to do all my planning and like make all my to-do lists because I love that I have categories with subcategories and that's how I think then I have Anchor, Anchor, which is a podcast app. I actually downloaded this because one of my friends, she actually does a podcast. She just started and it's really good so far. She has one on there, technically two, but one is a is an introduction. So she's really awesome. She's called The Fit Writer. Um, so definitely check her out if you haven't. She's not only on Anchor, she's on Spotify and um, Apple Music and all of that. So it's just The Fit Writer. So definitely check that out because she's awesome. On the very bottom I have just my, my phone calling. I have 27 calls, I guess, that I missed or whatever. <laughs> and then I have messages. I know I have a lot of messages, but the thing is I use this phone also for business. So I have clients that call that message and I need to get back to them and things like that. So that's why I have so many. And then I have Safari and I have Google Chrome because I use both of them. For YouTube, it tends to work better if I use um, Google Chrome versus Safari on my phone but when I'm on my computer I actually use Safari so that's why I have both of those. That's it. I hope that you guys like this video. I hope that you found something interesting or maybe want to try one of the apps on there. If you would like to see more videos like this also let me know and just let me know what type of thing you want me to do. Like I can always go ahead and do a review on one particular app. I think that'd be fun. Um, Thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate it. Thank you for all the support and I will see you guys very soon in the next video. Bye.